Welcome, my friends. It is Andrew from IDB. iOS 11.2 is getting closer and closer to a final public release. Beta 5 for developers and public beta testers has been released with just really minor tweaks and improvements over Beta 4. It has been a little while since we've seen a beta, Apple mainly taking a break over the holiday time there, so now that the holiday is over, Thanksgiving is over, we're back to betas with Beta 5. The biggest noticeable improvements in Beta 5 is really performance, and you can see that in the latest Geekbench test. Single score is now at 4157 and multi score is over 10,000. If we compare that to the ones that we ran just a couple weeks ago on beta 4, you can see 3953 and 8432, so significant improvements in the multi score test. As a refresher of what you can expect to see in iOS 11.2 when it finally ships, is improvements to Control Center, such as the ability to see little explainer cards on what the new Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles actually do, support for faster 7.5 watt charging on the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10. We have in-app purchases now can actually have introductory pricing for subscriptions, so you don't have to pay the full price up front. You can start off lower before increasing over time. The iPhone 10 got some lovely new live wallpapers. We still don't have AirPlay 2, which actually showed up for just a hot second in a couple of the betas before being removed, more or less, with the delay of the HomePod. Apple Pay actually got its big debut as far as the Apple Pay cash card and Apple Pay and iMessages, though we still don't have iMessages in the cloud, that's definitely still waiting and hopefully we will see that in iOS 11.3 possibly early next year. The iPhone 10 got a small indicator in the top right hand corner while on the lock screen, letting you know how to access Control Center quickly and easily, though that of course disappears when you unlock your phone, it really only shows up on the lock screen once you're in your phone, that little bar is gone. The unresponsive screen for the iPhone 10, that issue was also fixed, which was also contained in a release that Apple has put out publicly, set aside from the betas. There have been a few emoji tweaks. The feedback app has been included during the beta period. The calculator bug, that's all that slow animation, that has been corrected. And of course, the myriad of little bug fixes and improvements that you can expect to see in iOS 11 as they tighten up the ship of all the bugs that kind of shipped in the early versions of iOS 11. So let us know if there's anything that we missed in this latest beta. Make sure to let us know down below in the comments and what you think of iOS 11.2 and if you can wait to use it. Go ahead and click on that big red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.